Peace, kings and queens. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you your 12-12 portal message, y'all. So for this energy update, I do encourage you guys to make sure you're using a spirit of discernment. Okay? Remember that these are collective messages. I don't know what your timeline is, but however, whenever you tune into this message, it could be for you. Don't forget, flip your roles, take only what you need and leave the rest. These are collective messages. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides for helping me with this collective reading. Protect us as we go through these portals. Thank you for cleansing my space from any negative energies or entities. Thank you that my true guides are here with me. And so it is. All right, so I got three cards that are laid for you guys already. It's a time to give rather than a time to take. The answers you need are coming. This is coming from the Moonology deck. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so my readings that I have been doing over the last couple of days, few days, have been definitely talking about something coming to fruition, like a prayer is going to be answered soon, or you're going to have the answer for whatever it is that you got going on in your situation is going to be revealed, okay? So what the answer you need is coming soon. Basically kind of speaks about, oh shoot, it's on the wrong page. I did have it. Hold on one second, y'all. So, it says, this card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listeners. But right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, the card comes to you as a reminder of the very old, very non-Gemini message, least said, soon if mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words because words have enormous power, right? So your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. So have an important conversation, but stay calm, right? Don't be superficial. Um, laugh off the situation and just kind of move on. You know, try not to be extra about it. It says someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed or... And then another part of the additional meaning says you need to laugh off your situation and just move on. Job applications have good prospects. Okay. Now, there's going to be some type of conversation that's going to come through. All right. So when this conversation comes, as you can see, you won't have to speak your truth, but you have to be careful. So it could be something here where yeah, it's going to be a lot that's going to be said. Okay. A lot. Okay. So make sure you just whoosa. Because communication is definitely going to be key. You're going to have to talk, talk, and more talk, right? And it's an emotional full moon that moves into this communicated sign of Gemini, right? Because um, this is the full moon and Gemini card that I pulled, okay? So it's too easy to say too much. So mind how you go if you pull this card, okay? So I'm already telling you. But the conclusions, again, are within reach. Um, that's coming in with the full moon eclipse card. And let me read that one. 96. So this one says, and just like that, a door slams shut. If you pull this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about is going to reach a peak or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. So whatever you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. It's a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it is the right time. As hard as it might be, forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases you so you can move on. Okay. Doors which slam shut will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of any karma. Make sure you're meditating. Um, do some yoga that is definitely recommended, but see control and let these events unfold. unfold okay. Um, this is about working with your darkness, with your shadow side too, as well, right? That's what I'm saying. So it's already telling you off the back, like how it may be. But of course we know about this 1212 portal is about 
a lot of releasing, but it makes it easier for you to let these things go that no longer serve you. So that's the plus side to this portal. Okay. And that's where the blessings seem to be coming in, um, is opening up or making it where you can, uh, begin to give to yourself. To heal yourself is how I'm hearing it. Hold on, new moon in Virgo. When this card comes up, it's time. It's a time for you to take stock of your situation. Where are you, and where do you want to go? The new moon energy of this card suggests a restart, and the Virgo energy suggests you make that restart a clever one. That's simple and well organized. Virgo also has a strong health aspect to it. So if you've been unwell, this card suggests your that your health is on the up. Whew, thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Virgo loves clean eating and alternative therapy. So add these into your routines now. However, you've been feeling. If a situation is blocked at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things or being too critical. It's time to ask less what someone else can do for you and to think more about what you can do for others. So recommit to a healthy morning and evening routine. Um, gradual improvements are coming. Pay attention to the details if you want success and be of service to others and love and money will follow. The person you're asking about is reliable, okay? All right, so yeah, because Virgo is a sign of health, service, and analyst, right? Um, but look, because I'm telling you, I'm a Virgo, but I know I've been dealing with some different things that have come up and I'm sitting up here just like, whew. What is happening? Thank God it's kind of like minor things, I'm I'm gonna say, but however, um, I'm definitely over it. Okay. Um it been experiencing anxiety and now I got this dry mouth thing going on. Like, what in the world is going on in my life right now? <laughs> okay. But um, and look, um, GERD, <laughs> my doctor prescribed some type of medicine that I'm like, I'm not taking that, okay, because the side effects on that just seem simply ridiculous on top of um the long-term effects and having to use it every day. Like, it's like, if you you can't just stop using it, I'm like, that's too much information, okay? I'm just going to switch how I'm eating. So that's what I've been doing. I have a little bit of indigestion here and there, but um, I've been pretty much changing my diet and going to more of a, a fruits and vegetable type rotation. Um, not as much meat. I never ate, you know, beef or, or pork anyway. So I was eating turkey and chicken, but I've now eliminated that as well from my diet so we'll see <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say we'll see but i do need a break i'm telling you but let me pull here and let's just see tell us about the answers that my collective need is coming and these conclusions that are within reach mm, it's been a lot of adversity i've seen that seven of wands clear as day it didn't come out but it's been a lot of adversity and you've been uncertain but um yeah it's been a lot of stuff coming up against you i just can i can see it okay you're very resilient remember to keep standing tall like to stand your ground regardless you know because this is how you're going to get the answers that you need this is how you're going to bring a conclusion to something here because i feel like what um spirit has really been trying to convey or your guides have been conveying is for you to uh thank you spirit team staying your ground for what you believe in okay what do you really want what do you really desire what do you really need right because then that's going to come to you but in order for you to get that it requires you to really fight for it i got a knight of pentacles and a knight of swords that came out in the reverse in the higher front card Whew. queen of cups and a high priestess something you've been praying for. I definitely feel like um, you've been getting a lot of intuitive downloads, but of course you got access to a lot of uh, esoteric knowledge, okay? I feel like you're definitely in manifestation mode. Here with that Knight of Pentacles reverse, let me show you guys so you can see it in the Knight of Swords in the reverse, okay? Something definitely has been taking a very long time in your situation it's like one of these things where it's you got you've been seeing slow and steady progress um or movement let's just put it that way okay and you've been having to be patient very patient i don't know if this is somebody that's connected to you it could be a masculine energy or it could just be you right really having to 
um, take your time at things, not really being able to move forward really fast, right? You've been having to be committed to a certain assignment here, um, whether it's work, whatever it is, it's like you've been having to be committed to this process. And it just seems like it's an a ongoing process. Let's just put it that way. Okay. And I definitely do feel like a masculine energy coming through. Somebody you're connected to could be having a hard time or a difficult time committing. They have commitment issues. Okay. Um, or they are, or they are just very stubborn lovers, <laughs> very loyal, but stubborn. Okay. It's like, and what I'm saying is like, why? Because they've had a lot of issues when it comes to relationships. So they don't like to take a risk because when they commit, it's like this person wants to commit for the long term. So they've been kind of being very slow with their movement. Okay. However it goes, it could be air sign, could be earth sign, doesn't have to be. All right. But um, here with the higher font card coming out again, that speaks about commitment. It speaks about marriage, but I really feel like it's... Um, a commitment to a certain process okay i feel like your life hasn't been so traditional it's like it's unconventional however way it is okay queen of cups and the high priestess comes out so of course you know you got to listen to your intuition um highly intuitive person you are some, I'm hearing somebody could be a tarot reader too on top of that. Use their intuition as well to like, and what I hear is like publicly, okay? What I'm saying is like things are really definitely getting ready to balance out for you. It's been, I don't, it's like with this particular situation, you may have been kind of feeling like things have been very uncertain because whoever this person is, it's like they're in that in and out energy. So they may be hot and cold. Okay. But whatever's happening, the scales are balancing for you because we do have the justice card that is coming out. So it's some type of decision that's going to be made. It's going to be fair and it's going to be just, I just seen 1220 on my, um, timer. Okay. So let's just say karma is on your side. Okay. Yep two of wands because that's how i'm seeing it it's like this 12 12 portal is going to make it where you're going to be able to take this next step okay and make a certain decision here because um especially when it comes to your long term okay whatever your long term goals are so that you can continue to plan for your future here and see the manifestation of your prayers because you may have had a lot of unexpected obstacles or something you were planning could have failed yep four of wands came out in the reverse or you may not feel supported, whatever it may be, right? Some type of instability, not feeling welcome, conflict with your, you know, whoever this person could be. But you've been trying to build something reliable for yourself. Even if this is like a work situation, you know, or self-employment, whatever it is, I definitely feel like you've been trying to build some type of reliable foundation for yourself. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You've been investing a lot. A lot and waiting to see your efforts pay off. And this is the end of the hardships for real. That's just how I'm seeing it. Whatever it could be. You haven't seen results or, or the type of results that you want to see, but something's going to come through for you where it's going to help you to be able to move to this next spot st um, step in your life. Okay, so the temperance card just came out in the reverse. So let me clarify this temperance card. Tell me why the temperance card is here. I feel like you had to go through a process where you needed to learn how to balance yourself, how to know your extremes, okay, and how to seek peace when things are turbulent or not going as well as it should be, right? Because you may have some type or had like a major imbalance, um, Somebody I'm hearing could do a lot of self-indulging. It was just somebody is just not balanced, wasn't balanced, okay? And because of that, what you've been praying for and trying to get to come in for you, it can't come in until you are in alignment, until you're balanced. 
So definitely know your extremes. Know what it is that causes you to tick, okay? Like, because what I'm hearing is like somebody may lack patience, okay? Somebody definitely does not know how to keep themselves calm, okay? Something about this inner calmness that you need to have. Five of Cups comes in the reverse position, okay? Because you are going to recover, but however, it's all about acceptance, right? When stuff happens, you have to accept and move and go with the punches, rip for real, go with the flow of life, right? But your goal is to move on and heal from the past. So this is what everything has been leading up to to this point, okay? And you've been stuck at some type of crossroads when it comes to making a decision. And like I spoke of earlier, it's like you're going to be able to make this decision. Whatever that stalemate that has kept you from making a decision or, or wearing a blindfold here, because that's what's been causing the de delays for real, is not anything else. It's more about you. OK, but I feel like it's because it's either a painful decision or it's a stressful decision. It could be opposition. Right. Sometimes we're afraid to face our own uh, shadows. Right. Our own mirror, basically. But however, somebody could even be torn between <laughs> two lovers, two relationships is divided loyalty or something here going on. But here with the Ten of Swords coming out. Right. Yeah. That speaks of these endings. OK. It's a lot going on, but whatever could have happened, somebody could have betrayed you, somebody could have stabbed you in your back, whatever it is, somebody could just be bitter as hell. All that's coming to an end. I, I mean, hey, this is like goodbyes, okay? I ain't gonna necessarily say, yeah, these are good buys. Nails in the coffin. It ain't no turning back. And what I'm hearing is like for somebody, there's no second chances, right? Tell me about the conclusions all within reach. Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles flies out. Boom. That's the Queen of Materials in this deck. The higher font. Look at that. Ah. In the page of materials again it's like the queen of pentacles just reminds me of somebody who has this healthy balance like they can they can take care of their home they can be a boss you know what I'm saying they can go out there and run a whole corporation right and still come, come home make dinner feed the babies do whatever right and um this is a process that you had to follow once again with that higher font energy this was about this commitment to self is how I'm seeing it. Commitment to your journey, commitment to your purpose. Yeah, connecting to your higher self. So you had to go through hermit mode is how I'm hearing it. Um, which basically, you know, spending a lot of time alone or you may even felt like you were in some type of isolation. Some of you may have felt lonely, but in order for you to manifest what it is that you desire, you had to go through this certain process. You had to commit to a journey. You had to, um, determine what your own, you know, traditions are that you are going to follow, what you are going to do for yourself here, because you've been doing it everybody else's way for so long right yeah some of you are a spiritual teacher or well, it's about finding the guru within right F um failing or outdated systems crumbling institutions thing it's spiritual journey <laughs> that's just that sums it up spiritual journey right whatever way you're doing it it says the tiny traveler has journeyed so far to be here in this place with the muse of perfection and light. And when she finally arrives at the foot of this oracle, she hopes that her guru will see her and gift her a slice of wisdom as a result of unwavering faith. Wanting to make sure she performs the ritual perfectly, she starts small fires to warm her soul and begins to craft her devotional laddering, as most do when they arrive to this place. As she works, a voice floods her awareness. Sweet soul, thank you for visiting me. I ask you to look at the form in front of you. Are you worshiping me for the way I look? Or are you worshiping me for the way I act? Or do we worship the same? Aren't we the same, you and I? The muse winks and continues. And therein lies a secret. Beautiful heart, I see you. I see your profound inner wisdom. And I see that now is the time to lead yourself in service. 
dear teacher, sacred mentor, dear loving leader. Ah, this is literally the conclusions are within reach. Everything that you had to experience on this journey, you are now becoming the higher font. So you could literally be shifting even in what you do in your work career. Um, if you're doing uh, online work like this, if you are um, a healer, advisor, whatever it is, you may even be feeling like you're moving into a different dynamic of your um, healing practice or your life purpose, too, is how I'm hearing it, because you're ascending. OK, so you're starting to get other ideas that are expanding you from one thing. So just like I come up here and I read tarot or Oracle, I know I have other things that I do, but this is one of my main focuses. But I'm feeling or I'm getting these intuitive downloads that is pushing me to expand outside of just this dynamic. It's going even further. I'm even beginning to teach um, and work with people one on one um, on their journey as they are beginning to awaken and stuff like that. So you're going to start to see the shift. And this is what I'm saying. OK, so everything that you had to go through your spiritual training because you was in boot camp, boom, conclusions are within reach. OK, you're almost there at the end. It's going to be a time for you to give okay as well which is like to be of service um some of you are definitely operating in that capacity now some of you may not have started but this journey is about serving tell me about a time to give yep the chariot and when i see her even though the chariot is about overcoming obstacles and moving on i just really feel like that's you in the forefront as a leader okay directing and helping people especially other people who are like you okay um or been through the same like situations your own collective of people i'm, I'm seeing here that you will lead and guide them you're going to get all of the uh, intuitive guidance along the way as you are moving and navigating through this right now 1212 portal is definitely bringing the answers that you need okay especially when it comes to your life purpose hold on that's all i keep hearing hold on because i know it definitely feels like what am i doing <laughs> okay for some if you're already fully operating and you're struggling in other areas of your life financially and things like that hold on okay I know it was a lot of things that you may have had to give up for your purpose right some for some of you has been a job right um but however I'm hearing like, yeah, conclusions are within reach. You were almost there, okay? Whatever the challenges are, you're overcoming those challenges. Just already speak it as it already is. Like, you're overcoming the challenges. It's done. Stay in alignment and stay connected to your intuition for the next step. Yep, 10 of materials. That's the 10 of pentacles, boom. Come through everything that you had experienced and been through like <laughs> it's what i keep hearing that's purpose in your pain honey material success family creating a legacy a prosperous community a dynasty of love and wealth including and in helping others this is harvest season the Ten of Materials brings blessings and love and hope through the gifts of nurturing, sustenance, vitality, and health, prosperity, and joy. She is the earthly muse of legacy and material es essence, and she offers a window of wealth that will benefit the whole community for lifetimes of wonder. Here, she has blessed them as she is blessing you with the opportunity to eat and dance with her at the table of generosity. Step into your wholeness. Honor her by lifting up others who may not have had the same opportunity or blessings in their lifetime and know that your harvest will be ample and vibrant. This is a beautiful sign of abundance on the way. So this is your time to go into full service at this point. OK, so give help who you can help serve. This is no mistake. <sighs> Okay, I was reading, they have like a little, um, I'll read it to you guys, but it seems like it's some type of, I can't, a poem maybe? It says, the dynasty I weave for you, sweet sacred soul of mine, and legacy create for you, and all your kin in line. But no mistake in this, to make 
this wealth of right intention. Attentions paid to all that's true is how to buy ascension. Okay, so I was just kind of like, you know, reading that in my brain, like trying to break that down and process it. But yeah, um, however, serve. The best way to receive is to give. And the way that the universe works with us is for us to give back to humanity. So we're here to help. And in turn, the universe is going to um, support you in, the, in those ways, materially, through family, through all of the things that you have been praying for. OK, so this is how this is part of the manifestation, of course. But your alignment is also key in order for you to be able to attract these things in. So, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is, is all of it. And who says that you cannot receive financial abundance being a higher fund? You know, I, I hear people say all the time, like um, pastors, why are they driving this car? Why are they doing that? You know, or people who are in leadership, why they have all these fancy things. But I feel like. As long as they're serving and doing what they're supposed to do, why can't they be blessed with those things? You know, they're still working. They're still working for, you know, for the divine. They're still doing their due diligence. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Right. But I do feel like God has um, abundance for us all, with, no matter which way it comes in. OK, whether it's through love, you know, what I'm saying it's abundance of love, it's abundance of wealth, it's abundance of what joy, you know, what I'm saying? I feel like all of it is included in that, you guys. So I don't know if you're one of the people that may feel like, oh, I can't, you know, I shouldn't, you know, ask for uh, money or for wealth or things like that. But it's a part of how the universe blesses you. OK, so as long as and I did a teaching, um, maybe during the summer where I basically spoke to you guys about um, we were going to be moving into leadership positions and we have to learn how to maintain our integrity, right? Because some people get in these leadership positions and they lose themselves. Okay. And you, we're, we're, this is why we had to go through all this spiritual training and everything that we've been going through because of that one thing. We don't want to get to where we have been praying to get, and then our ego kicks in and then we end up leading the collective in the wrong manner. And that's what God is calling us not to do, you know, or, or spirit or the you know, universe, however it resonates for you, is calling us to be in full alignment and to stay in our integrity. And as we serve, OK, because we are on the forefront, we're leading. People are watching us. Right. So that means look at that. The higher front car. People are watching you. People will be watching you and learning from you. Okay. So, but don't worry, bro. Conclusions are within reach. Okay. Your 10 of Pentacles is coming. All right. So I know a lot of you mainly have been praying for um, long-term relationships. All right. But that's coming too. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's it. So enjoy. I don't know if you guys are going to do some form of meditation tonight, but however, I'm getting ready to cook dinner with my son and we're going to sit down and enjoy ourselves a nice mother and son dinner. We may even get on and do some type of video of some sort, but however, you guys go to our page. It's at MS Conqueror 2022. You'll also see the link to that in the detail box below. It's our YouTube page. Please go there and subscribe. Hit the like button, watch our content. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate y'all. Peace.